So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a nip to the shops with me kind of video. So if you want to come along then keep watching. Just back from the school run and I did debate doing another like what I do when the kids are at school today but the reality is is that I've got some really important work to be cracking on with and I think realistically filming would prevent me from you know doing what I really need to do today um, I'm actually giving some training on behalf of a brand um, in October to a few of their like team I don't want to say yet because I don't know if I'm allowed to say who or what or where yet but um, I'm sure I'll update you at the time maybe I'll do a little vlog when I'm there something like that but I'll be traveling I'll be staying overnight and giving a training session things like that which is um amazing actually because it's kind of part and parcel of what I used to do um before Daisy was born as part of my previous role a, a, a small part of my previous role but I've always worked online in some way um and yeah so that's that's good but I really want to focus on that today uh, but equally I have a few errands to run because such is life and I need to pick up a click and collect it's not a huge order like grocery wise it's um at Tesco this time for two reasons one um I could actually get a click and collect clock oh, blah, 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 blah. click and collect slot for today because I only did it last minute last night um and I just needed whatever I could get. So that's where we are today. Plus it's free because we still have delivery saver. And Mark keeps reminding me of that. It was like, we, you know, we might as well keep using it. And I'm like, I know, but sometimes it's just nice to shop around. A few people messaged me on Instagram and said, maybe I should try like different shops, like Aldi, Lidl, Asda, Morrison's, um, Ocado was mentioned as well. Um, but some of them, I'm just like, I, I go to different shops for different things. But anyway, this is not, this is not that kind of video. I need to go and pick that up. Um, but also, the second reason is that the Tesco that I'm going to is near an M&S. And I want to nip in there for a few bits and just have a look at their, like, autumn stuff. Because um, I thought if there was anything, it might make quite a nice reel. Maybe I could show you guys on here as well. And yeah, I just thought I would bring you along with me because I haven't done something like this in a while. Plus, Stan's been off for the last two days he's not been very well we noticed at the weekend that he was quite like you know when your children kind of show signs but you don't always notice them at the time and then on reflection you're like of course but he was a bit grumpy over the weekend and when he came out of school on monday he was in a really really bad mood he was very emotional and then i did his reading books and as he was reading he felt like a little heater on me and then I decided to take his temperature and he had a temperature and then he was up in the night, he was really unsettled, he ended up settling in bed with me. And then he's just been off for the last few days with a temp and like, you know, like a sore throat when you swallow. But other than that, not really anything else. So I don't know if it was a bug, but um, with temperatures especially, I always like to make sure that they're off because I want to be able to manage that and you know it's like how paul and your in fact you can probably see the remnants of everything there um and also because like when they're poorly they you know they need to rest we need to rest it's um it's silly like sort of sticking to that rat race culture sometimes isn't it especially with kids and don't like spreading it either um so he's gone back in today and i'm really relieved just because i've got to crack on um but i'm just going to take like a couple of hours for me and then today and tomorrow i'll be working on this training and into next week as well if i need to and um yeah that is what i'm up to that was a long intro wasn't it but should we go and get some bags for life and get the car key and we'll uh, we'll get going we will get going bye house bye bye papa i see you later you're gonna be a good boy i'm gonna have a nap oh sweet dog Okay, we've got the goods. I didn't want to film it though because the lady was like chatting to me and it, I just, I don't want to be that weirdo, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and nip into my manas now.
Okay, so I'm home and we've got everything laid out. And I've done it a little bit differently today. So I'm gonna like turn you around and just walk you through what I've got because the meal plan, as I said at the start of the video, it's like, well, this shop is a bit smaller because I'm doing some brand work later on next week. And I have to kind of accommodate for that, um, which is the norm really when I'm ever doing any work that's like food related, because I always have to factor that in. Um, and I have to organize myself as well to make sure that it can be filmed properly and in a good good enough quality, et cetera, et cetera. So these are like grouped into meals instead. And I got some really lovely little treats from m &S. Okay, so this is everything that I picked up. As you can see, it's not as much as usual. Um, and look at that happy boy. Are you enjoying the sunshine? <laughs> right, okay, so the way I'm gonna work it is just run you meal through meal and kind of explain it that way. So the first one that's probably quite obvious is Sunday. And I decided to do something a bit different to what I normally would do, which is a chicken, because it always feels more affordable. And I've got this unsmoked gammon joint. I prefer unsmoked, I guess that's just a personal preference. This is £10.31. In the end, it was estimated to be about two, uh, no, twelve pounds. Sorry, and this is a good, a good hunk of meat. And what I'm going to do is probably put that in the slow cooker and then finish it off in the oven with a mustard and honey glaze, of which I already have in because those are store cupboard items. Um, and then we've got sprouts, broccoli. I already have carrots in. I've got onions and stuff like that in still. Um, Mouse pad potatoes. I'm going to do some roast potatoes and we need garlic and rosemary for them let me know if you'd like me to do a little reel or something on how i made these because well to be honest i've been asked over on instagram i can like, obviously post it on here too as a youtube show i've got parsnips which are mark's favorite cauliflower cheese and i got a big in blankets because they were on this two for five pound deal with the ham that i'll show you in a second for pat lunches and I just saw them and I thought, oh, Mark and the kids, I'm not as into them as, as the rest of my family, but Mark and the kids all these their little minds over these. So um, I thought I would do this as a little surprise because when is there never a time for some bacon and sausage, hey? You know. Um, now, obviously, this um, is a big, big piece of meat. We won't eat it all in one go. So the idea then is to make some special fried rice so the only thing that's new for this meal are these now what i like to do is that i'll pre-cook the rice and let it cool down the idea then is that um it becomes less sloppy because the starch is allowed to sort of dry onto the rice and it fries a lot better than when it's warm and slightly wet as rice can be you know how rice sort of dries a bit harder again um so i pre-cook the rice and then i've got Chives still growing in the garden, they're still going strong. I'm going to use leftover gammon, eggs we get from the milkman. I've got sweet corn in, I've got onion, no, well, I have got onion in, I've got onion in. I've got um, peas in, carrots, which are finely diced, and I'll do a special fried rice with crow crackers. And everybody in my family annihilates that, and it's such a nice one because they stick a load of veggies in them, but they just they don't even question it. Like, the only one that really questions it now is Stan, because he's five and he's at that age. But um, it's a really, really nice one. Oh, my door just slammed with the wind. Um, and then, again, if there is any other meat left over, then I can think on my feet a bit with that, with lunches or an extra meal. But for now, that is what I have planned for, because I wasn't sure how big this was going to be, because I ordered it online. Friday. I picked up one of these. If you've never tried one of these from M&S before, you, you deserve butter <laughs> because they're so good. It's in a little frozen, little freezer near the bakery section usually. And there are a few different types. And this is a garlic cheese cob with garlic butter. And it's fresh bread that they add the garlic butter to and freeze. And then you can take it out of your freezer whenever you want. But if you think you've had garlic bread, you are wrong because this is amazing. And then with that, We've got the snack and platter, and you're probably thinking that's a bit of a basic meal. It's a bit of a girl dinner, shall we say. Um, but when it was our anniversary, Mark got an offer through a week or so previous to that 
for pasta evangelist. You know, like when you've not shopped somewhere for a while and they'll send you like an enticing offer to get your cheese again. I love that for us. Um, so he got one and with it, it was like three weeks worth. And in the end, it cost us less than what say a taker would takeaway would do for one night and um, so we made use of it and his last one is coming tomorrow so this is what we're going to have and it's like a pasta set and um, the sauce is already made for you there's a little pot of parmesan usually fresh fresh beautiful pasta and these are kind of our sides to go with it and then just this week i got an offer it wasn't as good as his because i probably order more than he does and mine's worked out for £18. So look out in your emails if you have like bought with them before because you, you might have one too. I don't know how it works. But um, for £18, I've got two uh, lots of pasta for two people. And you also get two free desserts. And it's just our way. Like we try and have a date night once or twice a week if we can where we try being the active word the uh, the operative word shall i say um and have some time just as two and kind of like treat it as a date we don't get to go out on dates every single week so this is like our way of kind of you know being with each other and still being like in a relationship not just that roommate stage and um, so yeah it's worked out as nine quid for two people um for each night so 18 quid in total which is a bargain so for the next few weeks now next three weeks actually we've got like a little date night planned with pasta which you can't complain at really so that's what those are for and then you know we're doing that and then what is going to happen with the kids because daisy now has a club on a friday cricket season's finished but we normally go and see my grandparents and i'm really really conscious of feeding them quickly because the kids won't wait as long as we will um, and obviously Mark's not even finished work so it just gets really tricky and I asked when I was doing it last night I said to Daisy like what do you fancy for dinner over the next few days and stuff and she was like can I have a fish finger butty um, which is <laughs> so British um, but I saw these chunky ones on offer I, I'm not a massive seafood eater so I do try and make sure my children get it where they can I'm going to do this with like tartar sauce I've got some mushy peas to have on the side and fries and I'm just going to make it like a, a posh fish finger butty for them because it's something that they'll like um, and enjoy and then on Saturday Mark's actually an away, at an away game with his mates so it'll be just me and the kids Um, I got this as a little like because I'm literally with them all day and I just wanted something to look forward to at night with like a, a glass of wine or something so I've got this Labna yogurt dip from M&S and then the pita chips if you've not tried those those are amazing but what I'm going to do is treat the kids to i'll give them some options like maybe they'll want a chippy tea or a mcdonald's she usually goes down really well and i'm going to do like a mummy night with them and i also got um halloween hello scream munch uh, from m s to have if they fancy it or we could save it but you know you only live once but it's a mix of milk chocolate malt balls white chocolate popcorn dark chocolate pretzels and more that's what it looks like very cool and i've got some um piercy pigs as well to have but um i hope we could have like a little like mummy kid night and just spend some time together i thought that would be nice um, and mark will just obviously sort himself out because i don't think he'll be home until late because um i think it's rotherham something like that and then they're going to come back to manchester because his mates are going to carry on to preston but they're going to have a few drinks in manchester before they head back so yeah whatever whatever he's doing it'll be fine and then um where am i up to so that's those meals so that's um friday saturday sunday and monday and then i've got other meals that will be coming like work wise and then the other thing i want to do is batch cook so i have some chicken left in the fridge and just because of the way the week worked out this week the meal idea that i had like we didn't work out because i've forgotten about clubs and i'm still getting back into the routine because it's changed again as it always kind of does to kids um so i have ingredients in to make a tagine i always have couscous in and like grains and pulses and stuff like that anyway and i have some 
rose harissa paste left that I want to use up. I've got some dried apricots in that I want to use up. I've got tinned tomatoes. I've got veggies languishing in the fridge. And I've got this chicken. And I bought, one second, these trays from Waitrose, I think it was, when they were in the sale. I think they were like made for like barbecue trays, you know, like, I don't know. But I've been batch cooking recently. And because they're bigger and I'm just covering them in foil, they're like more of a family portion or a larger portion then that hang in the freezer and be pulled out for a future meal and then tonight i'm going to take you to my freezer one second i need to start out in here soon but we have a few little backup bits in here this is chicken stock that i really want to make a risotto with at some point that i made a few weeks back um but this is what the kids are going to have for dinner tonight so this is like a here's one I made earlier, but this is a homemade meatball and homemade pasta sauce, like bake basically. So I'm going to leave this to sort of defrost a little bit and then finish it off in the oven later. Like everything's sort of been cooked. The pasta I did like just before al dente so it didn't get too mushy when reheated. So that's what they're going to have with a leftover garlic bread. Um, so they'll be happy with that and I'll do some like cucumber and carrot sticks and that kind of thing And they are eating separately from us tonight because we are doing meet the form teacher tonight at Bill's high school And um, we obviously both want to go because it's important that we like both get to see who's sort of like Looking after him in charge of him kind of thing and it's a, a talk at the high school and we're trying to both go when we can So I'm gonna feed them first to make sure that they're all fed and happy <laughs> And well behaved for my grandparents and then um Mark is going to cook us something later. I don't know what though, because it's his night. Um, and he normally has all that sorted before I do like our weekly shop anyway, so yeah, that is it. But I'll show you everything else I've picked up that kind of fills in the gaps in terms of packed lunches or little extras, like I mentioned, the Christmassy stuff if you want to see. And yeah, that should be everything. So this is where we left off. Now, like fruit and veg and stuff. Um, Tesco let me down with strawberries that were going to go off tomorrow. So I managed to get these ones from m and instead. And to be honest, the price difference was minor, if anything. I got some blueberries as well because there weren't any on-off, like, not on offer, in stock actually, when I did my click and collect order. So I wanted those for some pancake bites that I'm gonna do. I've got some apples, uh, a mango was on offer, and we've got some oranges and bananas. Those are kind of staples that we get. And then I've still got some cucumber left, and I just thought we'll get on and use up what we've got for now because it's, I'm gonna keep it a small shop. It just keeps it cheaper as well. Um, then for packed lunches, we've got ham, we've got cheese, we've got red chicken, as Daisy calls it. Um, she loves this. And then I've got my mozzarella cheese mix. These were on offer for like two for three pounds. I love having that in, as you probably know by now. And then I've got some tomatoes as well for a change for packed lunches rather than um, cucumber. The chocolate chips as well, I'm going to use in like, making like those little pancake bites for breakfast. I'm going to batch cook those probably at the weekend along with the tagine that I want to do. And then we've got bagels, a toasty and some crumpets. And I've got something amazing to go on the crumpets. I'll show you that in a sec. Oh, I forgot to tell you about these as well. We've got um, some fabric conditioner. I love the outdoorable ones. I wanted the fairy version, but they didn't have it. And then Mark added some bin bags. And then over here, pet lunch stuff really just stocking up. So I've got crisps, discos, mini digestives. I've never seen these before. <laughs> I don't know if they're new. And then I spotted these in M&S, which the kids all lose their minds for. Um, Percy Pig mini cookie bags, pink Percy Pig flavour biscuits with mini jelly sweet pieces inside, you can kind of see there, can you see that? And then fruity flapjack bags, I thought they were great, they were £1.50 each, which again, not very expensive. Um, Froobs were on offer, go go squeezers were on offer, and pepperamis were on offer, and then finally, this is the kind of interesting stuff, um, mango passion smoothie, I'm trying Oatly. As you know, like I normally get the Alpro Coconut Barista, but I tried oat milk the other day when I was having my hair done and it was actually really nice. So I thought I would try this this week. I've still got some Alpro left and then when that's done, I'm going to try Oatly because that was the one that people recommended the most and they said definitely get the Barista edition. Then 
And this is new, strawberry and dragon fruit juice with apple. Daisy loves fruit juices and is very enamoured by them. So I thought she would enjoy that one because it probably, I'm guessing it's pink. Um, Starbucks were on offer, so we got one vanilla and one caramel. I love getting these um, and stocking up when they're good value. I've showed you these already. The kids all of these, but these are Christmas. Is it too soon? Yes, it is. We know that. I know that. But we know that I'm just showing you so you're aware and you can plan if they speak to you. But also I'm stocking up because it makes sense to spread the cost and I don't know how long they'll be available for, to be honest. You never really know. They'll probably be putting Easter stuff out in December. Anyway, um, Mary Berry Cherry Jam Stamp loves jam. He loves a jam sandwich and he loves jam on toast. Um, and I thought that he would appreciate that over the festive season. This wow fruit and nut butter this sounds incredible to me on toast for breakfast um what is in here it that is french i cannot read french smooth peanut butter with chopped sultanas cinnamon and orange flavor should we all just applaud <laughs> the nut butter plus this packaging is iconic i don't know it just takes me back to christmases before i'm getting all nostalgic and then chocolate and orange swirl um delicious swirl of milk chocolate orange and white chocolate spread again the kids will appreciate that these are all going to go in my baking cupboard which is here um and so are these actually mini gingerbread mug hangers we make a lot of hot chocolate in the winter months and the kids will love these so i'm going to hide those away for now um cappuccino mini wafer squares just made me feel like oh maybe i need those for when i make myself a coffee and i'll just have one on the side like i'm in a cafe Ooh. Um, and they sounded incredible and quite nice if you have someone around you like to want a coffee do you fancy one of these anyway uh, and the thing that i was really excited to pick up because i didn't think i'd find it um because it's all over tiktok at the moment you're buttering me up maple somerset butter and maple syrup uh, apparently great with pancakes bacon or roasted root veg so i could put this on my parsnips probably will but also this on crumpets let's take a moment it looks really good doesn't it i'm very excited and then these are amazing if you've never had them before please do they are better than reese's pieces in my opinion or reese's peanut butter cups or anything like that it's basically like oh my god it's just really good i cannot explain it it's like Reese's in the bottom but then like with some sort of Snickers hybrid but just way better they're so good and then finally I've got these to be a bit different for the kids um, but I've just seen that I've also got a uh, pan of chocolate still in the freezer so we have stocked up now for some weekend breakfasts for a couple of weeks I reckon but the kids all love these and yeah that is everything and I'm going to put it all away so this is everything put away if you've not seen these before, this is how I organise my fridge. So we have um, this one for cooked meats and stuff, sandwiches, and I try and put the things that should be back there that need using first at the front. Same with cheese. So I've got some leftover feta and leftover of the grated mozzarella. Then these are the kids' snacks ones. So we've just got pepperamis and then one of the Aldi chicken packs there. And then in here we've got like jellies, go-go squeezes and fromage tray. Um, and that is those. I feel like this is stuck on something. There we go. And then we've just got like juices. That's the garlic bread that needs to season up and there's meat and then there's drawers for like the fruit and veg and stuff but um everything is all sorted there and then this is the kids like sort of snack drawers slash like again what i use for pat lunches and things like that but they have to ask if they can have um like snacks and stuff like from here anyway fruit is always like yeah grab a piece of fruit whenever you want me in here you have to ask so we've got popcorn um, these are some cheese savouries that I just sealed up. Um, this is like treat snacks. Um, so the Percy Pig biscuits are in there. These are Halloween y, um, Miss Kipling's, that kind of thing. And then these are all like fruity snacks or like a fit. Fit, fitted, I have fitted <laughs> these fruity flapjack minis in here 
as well because they're a bit better than these um but that's where they go for these and then we've got like crisps and stuff as well that's my little recycling pile so far and i just need to put these in my coffee pod holder which i actually got on sale from matalan i'll show you it now so that's what this little corner is like and these little lights are just stuck on ones that you use that for it flickers sometimes i think it's something to do with the camera detecting it my phone does it too but it doesn't flicker in real life so that makes sense but yeah that they're gonna go in there in a sec and then I'm going to pop this over here, which is their dinner, the homemade meatball thing. Um, and I'm going to leave that to defrost for a bit. And I've just got a fruit to put away now. Oh, and a dog to let in. Come on, friend. So that is everything that I'll put away. Kitchen's kind of reset and back to normal. And I'm going to crack on with it now, but I hope you found that vaguely entertaining um, and useful too. Um, and let me know if you would like to see any other sort of videos. Um, I'm trying to find a happy medium on here where I can make content that I enjoy making, but also that you enjoy watching, but I still feel like I'm happy with what I'm putting out and, and things like that. But yeah, let me know if there's anything that sparks your interest, so to speak. And I'm gonna go and get some work done now, so I'll see you very, very soon.